I'm so glad I go to BSU. Do, 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 do. I'm so glad I go to BSU. Do, 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 do. I'm so glad I go to VSU singing glory hallelujah woo I'm so glad Okay you guys cue the intro <laughs> Straight from the eight, I'm walking with God, I don't need a drink The devil be talking, I don't entertain <laughs> I'm walking in faith, I'm so on my seat I did it in faith, I gave it to God And he made it great, put me in good soil And took out the snakes Hey y'all, it's Brooklyn and I'm back once again with another YouTube video. So as you guys can tell from the title, I'm giving you guys a pretty exciting video. When it comes to my college, you know, it holds a very near and dear place in my heart. Today, I'm going to be giving you guys a little bit of advice and knowledge about one of the greatest HBCUs on the planet, the Virginia State University. I know that there are a lot of upcoming freshmen who are planning to attend Virginia State and first of all, congratulations. Some of them I do know. So if you are watching you know who you are and that kind of sparked the idea in me to make a video kind of giving you guys some background knowledge about VSU some of my personal advice and just telling you guys about my experience as a freshman first of all I got to do my introduction I already know in HBCU world you gotta have introduction ready all right greetings I am Brooklyn Jones a rising sophomore music vocal performance major from North Chesterfield Virginia and I currently attend the Virginia State University period yeah. Yeah. If you guys have not seen this face before, hi, my name is Brooklyn. I give you guys content that talks about faith as a believer in Jesus Christ, school related videos, advice videos, vlogs, music, wholesome content that gives you guys a glimpse of my life. If you guys have not already, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and turn on those post notifications so that way you guys will not miss out on any uploads. Also, do not forget to follow me on my socials which are up here and down below as usual. So without further ado, let's get on started. Hey, hey, get on started. Started. Hey, hey. The first thing that I'm going to talk with you guys about is my experience being a freshman at Virginia State. So coming into Virginia State, first and foremost, the first time I toured Virginia State, it was November of 2021. That was my first time walking on their campus. Keep in mind, I only applied to three schools. I had already toured the other two over the summer. And I remember touring Virginia State later on in the fall and I could just feel a sense of peace come over me. And I was like, this seems like the perfect school for me. I genuinely felt like I could see myself growing there and flourishing and being successful and I feel like that is something that you really have to take into consideration when it comes to choosing your college for the next four years school that you know that God has placed you in and I highly suggest praying about the school that you want to go to as well that was something that I definitely took to the Lord in prayer Virginia State was the place for me I walked around the campus first of all the campus wasn't even all of that big like I thought that the campus was going to be super huge because one of the schools that I had toured was huge and so I feel like school size also has a lot to do with your choice as well. I could just tell that Virginia State had that familial atmosphere and I feel like that is common amongst HBCUs. It's like a big black family cookout. It's just so wholesome and I genuinely love that atmosphere. Your girl committed to Virginia State later in the spring semester of high school. Now when I moved in, the move-in process was pretty smooth. First of all, I was already ready to go to college. I was already ready to leave East High School. I'm ready to move on to college. That summer, I was, you know, prepping, getting my dorm stuff, hanging out with my friends because a lot of us were going to different schools so we wanted to see each other before we all went to our universities. Like the whole dorm shopping process was really fun. I was very blessed to have people support me with monetary gifts as well as gifting me some of the things that I had requested off of my registry which I highly suggest doing making college registries. Moving in was actually pretty smooth. I did vlog it so if you want to check it out go ahead I'm gonna put it somewhere up here. Um, I was the first to get to my room 
so I got the first dibs on which side to take and I'm so glad I got mine because my side, I love my side. We were allowed to only have two people help us. People brought their whole clan so I could have had my whole family come and help me. There was a lot of people though moving things back and forth in and out of the building. It wasn't super bad. And then literally like I remember like, after I had fully moved in I was just like I'm here. I am here. In the past I was so anxious and nervous about going to college because I felt like I didn't have enough independency to be able to handle myself on my own. After a week I was fine. I already knew where most of my buildings were. I could get from point A to point B with no assistance. I was worried for nothing. During welcome week which I'm gonna get into in a second. During welcome week I was a part of the freshman talent show and I won which was insane. I remember just feeling the love and support for my friends who were already at school to those who I didn't even know. You know it felt really good and I feel like that was the start of kind of getting out there a little bit. Some people started to recognize me and know my name. I say this with all humility because you already know who all the glory goes to. Jesus Christ. All the glory goes to God. Amen. Amen. Now as far as academics I will say it was definitely a wake up call but also pushed me to be more serious about my schoolwork which I always have. I've always strived to get good grades. I was always an AB student. College it's definitely a whole different ball game. Professors they're not going to hold your hand and tell you to do the assignment. They'll notify you that there are assignments to be done but they're not going to keep being on your back trying to tell you hey you got this to do you got that to do because they see you as a responsible adult so you gotta handle your own like an adult. I definitely had times where my mental health declined a little bit and I was feeling down and I was really struggling but guess what God helped me he got me back up I had love and support from those around me and I made it through both semesters so yeah that was kind of a brief synopsis of my freshman year listen freshman year owed me nothing okay freshman year was a blast posted a tiktok of my experience a little bit of a recap as a freshman at virginia state and that pretty much alone told you how it went i'm just truly blessed to be where i am like i feel like it's all god and he really knows where to place you and he knows the plans that he has for you and he knows your path so i'm just very blessed to have chosen the virginia state university as my home for the next three years of my life which is crazy because it feels like yesterday since i was saying i'm a whole dang freshman now i'm about to be a sophomore like what is this this is so ghetto like what that was pretty much a brief synopsis of my freshman experience at virginia state and now we are about to jump in some background knowledge so let's go ahead and get started Virginia State was founded in 1882. Two of our most popular colleges I can say is definitely the College of Business, which is Reginald F. Lewis College of Business at our campus, and then our College of Agriculture. Some more colleges that we have are Colleges of Humanities and Social Sciences, which is my college, College of Education. Those are the ones that I can remember off the top of my head, but we have so many colleges to choose from. We have tons of majors as well. So if you come in undecided, not a problem. There are definitely faculty and ed administration that can help you declare a major. We were actually known formally as Virginia State College and then eventually it grew to become Virginia State University. We also have a lot of scholarship opportunities. So we have presidential scholarship which is $10,000 annually, provost scholarship which is $6,500, and then we have um, the VCAN scholarship which you can actually apply for. The only difference with the presidential and provost scholarship is that that will be just given to you. You won't have to apply for it. I am a a presidential scholar so if you are a presidential scholar you will be inducted as a member of the honors college it has so many opportunities um, you can definitely grow academically amongst peers who are like-minded as you you can also have opportunities to travel and study abroad the honors college has went to Morocco like if that's something that you're interested in by all means go for it if you can you can apply you have to live within a certain radius from the school and you have to be Pell eligible which has to do with your FAFSA form and things like that so yes we definitely give out plenty of opportunities because Virginia State makes sure that no man is left behind and that everybody gets to eat at the table our mascots are Troy and Trina the Trojan they are 
definitely everywhere especially at our campus events so you get to take your pictures with them and they are just genuinely so cool I love them definitely a lot of fun I'm gonna give you guys a bit of info about some of our campus traditions one of them is the Trojan head slash fountain funny fact about the fountain so when you step on campus it's actually right next to the singleton building which is the building for business majors and around the perimeter of it it has a quote by our founder our founder of Virginia State is Alfred W Harris and his quote is I want a place where all may go and drink from the fountain of knowledge and that's basically saying you know at Virginia State there is a place for you there whatever your background culture interests are there is a place for you to flourish and to thrive and I can definitely attest to that so there are three Trojan heads located on Virginia State's campus the myth is if you step on one of the Trojan heads you will not graduate on time and the only way to get rid of this is to run through the fountain while it's on um I will say that during welcome week there were definitely a lot of freshmen who were stepping on the Trojan head it's just a fun little thing that we do on campus however I still advise y'all to be careful so we have on BSU's campus what we call the yard actually University Ave you might hear these terms being used interchangeably University Ave is where all of the fun and all of the hype happens we have a lot of our events around that area especially during the day um, when classes are going on for example VSUGC which is our gospel corral we had a bake sale during our founders week and we had it on the app as well as a lot of organizations like to have events to raise money to fundraise and just to you know get active with the students on campus and it's actually really really fun during spring fling we also had a block party around that same area and it was also a really good time as well if you people say we on the app that's what they're referring to this is a pretty common thing amongst HBCUs but we do have fried fish Fridays and fried chicken Wednesdays I saved the best for last because some people tend to get this twisted big state versus little state Virginia state is big state and little state refers to Norfolk State NSU so I'm gonna give you guys a little history lesson the two-year branch in Norfolk was added to the college in 1944 the Norfolk division became a four-year branch in 1956 and gained independence as Norfolk State College in 1969 Norfolk State stemmed from Virginia State so historically we are big state and Norfolk State is is little state so when you hear people at VSU talking about little state they're referring to NSU now that's where the rivalry kind of happens because you have some people at Norfolk State who thinks that they're big state and hate to break it to y'all but we were first amen praise God hallelujah it's just a fun competitive rip there's no super bad blood some people like to make it that way however the whole rivalry thing is just something that's for fun like it's nothing too deep for real so now we are going to move on to some of the questions that you guys have asked I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions and some of y'all came through so I am going to be answering those as well as giving y'all some advice So the first question is best way to be involved as a freshman. I highly recommend joining maybe one or two organizations. You can join the gospel choir, concert choir. I'm a member of both choirs. So if you have any questions regarding those two choirs, you can come and ask me. You can also join some campus ministries. I'm actually a part of a campus ministry at VSU called Enjoy Ministry, started by my great sis, Zamir Hunley. So sis, if you're watching this, I love you. She recently graduated. She is officially an alumna of the Virginia State University don't play with her we also have academic organizations you can join leadership orgs mentorship orgs you really just have to do your research and network and ask some people around campus about info regarding those and they will definitely supply you with the info that you need you can even start your own organization but you have to go to Foster Hall which is the student center go to welcome week try to go to all of the welcome week events welcome week is basically the whole week dedicated mostly for freshmen and they have a lot of fun events that you can attend to get acclimated to campus so when I was a freshman during welcome week we had the freshman talent show a wet and wilder event which was like this like water park they had water gun fights water balloon fights etc had a library social Virginia Hall social I think we had an indoor skating event which was in the gym and we also had yard fest the yard near Daniel's gym however the piece of advice that I will give is you don't want to become super super involved to the point where you are starting 
to decline academically because I'm telling y'all some of these events and parties on campus can be your downfall if you allow it to. Is it hard to find a Christian community realistically? So I will definitely say finding your Christian community is a lot easier to find in college versus finding it in high school. I remember when I rededicated my life to Christ and I was really starting to live for him. I was going into my freshman year of high school. It was kind of hard because I knew people who knew God, they believed in God, but they weren't really walking the walk like I was. And I remember somebody told me, you're gonna find it more when you go to college. And boy, were they right. I definitely found believers who were trying to walk this thing out like I was. And um, like I said before, you know, joining campus ministries, trying to find a church to visit while being in college, stuff like that is very important because you wanna surround yourself with believers who are fueling you and pushing you to walk this thing out because being a Christian in college is not easy. What times do I recommend for class schedules and time? And my experience with the roommate, I will start with the first question. So for me, I recommend morning classes, but not anything super early. So I actually prefer 9 a.m. over 8 a.m. I have had both fall semester, I had 9 a.m. Spring semester, I had a dreadful 8 a.m. The blessing about the 8 a.m. though was that it was two times a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. My schedule in the spring was actually pretty good. It wasn't as packed as fall semester because baby, fall semester, my schedule was packed. I feel like you should have classes that are between 9 a.m. and probably about maybe 2 or 3 p.m. because I feel like that's a pretty decent time. And then once, you know, the 3 p.m. hour hits and you have no more classes, you're pretty much free for the rest of the day. I kind of forgot to mention this as well, but your freshman year, you're not allowed to make your schedule. Some people prefer evening classes because they're not a morning person. So they want to have the whole morning to themselves and then they can just go to class. But knowing me, I feel like I would much rather have morning classes. If I have the rest of the day to myself, there's a certain event that I want to go to. If I have rehearsals, I don't have to worry about, I'm going to be in class at this time. So I won't be able to attend. Like, just be honest with yourself. Like, if you know you're not a morning person and you want to have evening classes, go for it. You are a morning person and you're willing to get up early to get ready for class and get your morning classes out the way, go for it. It's really up to you. But those are my recommendations and my personal preferences. As far as my experience with a roommate, it was pretty cool. I will say though, definitely make sure that you and your roommate click because I will say that there were times where we didn't really see eye to eye on certain things. And I feel like definitely sharing space with another person is different. I feel like if you grew up having your own space, your own room, it might be a different experience. For me personally, I shared a room with my sister till I was about 11 or 12 years old. So for me, it's like I'm used to sharing a room with somebody else. It's not really a big issue for me. So I feel like that you definitely have to take into consideration trying your best to coincide with the other person. Definitely trying to make sure that your space is clean, that y'all have a system and a routine of, you know, who's going to clean this on what day, who's going to take the trash out, things like that. Um, and I do highly, highly recommend communication because there were times where I felt like our communication could have been better as well. Being on your own with a roommate, this really tests your ability to handle your own and to stand up for yourself and to communicate. For me, communication is not always the easiest thing. And so sometimes, you know, when you find times where you got to put your foot down, you're going to have to build up the courage to do so. This is actually not a question, but this is actually a piece of advice someone gave. Bring all your clothes, formal clothes, business, professional clothes, good fits, etc. And I cannot agree more. You are definitely going to need enough clothes. There are some people who be like, no, don't take all of your clothes. Don't take all of your shoes, which is true. But at the same time, I feel like it's really up to the person. And if you're willing to bring that much stuff with you, I brought most of my shoes and I pretty much brought almost all of my clothes. I left some clothes home. If you know you're going to wear it while you're there, bring it. If you know you're not going to wear it, just leave it at home. Definitely bring business casual clothing. I remember during welcome week, in the beginning of the day, we would have, we would have mandatory meetings that the freshmen would have to attend. And most of the time we had to wear business casual attire. So it's very important that you bring those, especially if you are a business major, because if you are a business major, you have to wear business casual attire once a week. The reason for that is so that you can get in the routine of your profession. They have moments where businesses, Fortune 500 companies come in and actually give out opportunities and internships. It is very important that you look the part because you don't want to get turned down because you were wearing a inappropriate outfit. Yes, make sure you bring some good fits too because listen, when homecoming season comes, you don't got to worry about buying a whole new outfit because listen, I listen, when homecoming season roll around, when spring fling rolls around, we got to have different outfits for each day of the week. So <laughs> you got to make sure that you have your gear or whatever, especially homecoming because I have so much VSU merch. You have a bookstore, so if you need to get some merchandise, you can go definitely 
definitely buy you some. Bring some dresses and some heels. Sometimes, you know, you might want to go out to dinner with your friends. You might want to go on a date. Want to, you know, dress up and get cute. So I highly suggest bringing dresses. Guys, gentlemen, you're going to need some suits, dress shoes. Because we do also have some campus events where you have to dress up. So what is the atmosphere of the campus and how are the events? I kind of sort of touched on it, but I'm going to get a little more in depth with this because this is a totally different question. The events on campus are pretty fun. I had a good experience. I will definitely give some advice about the events. Make sure that you attend with somebody. Try not to go by yourself and try not to leave by yourself. Sometimes things be popping off and you don't want to be caught in a bad situation. So it's very important that you are with trusted friends. Okay, so the parties, I guess you could say. A lot of the ones that are on campus, I went to. So for example, we would have gym jam. We had a silent headphone party during the fall semester. We had a house party gym jam during Black 82, which is our Black History event in the February season. I would go to those. And then we also like during Spring Fling, we had a block party or activity hour party sort of thing. Our day of fun, you know, things like that. I would go to those events because I felt comfortable going to those. And I always went with my friends. Either I went by myself and then met up with some friends and we would leave together or my friends and I would just go together. I would personally say our campus events are usually where it's at. Like they're the most safe. Now, if you want to go to an off-campus party or function, that is up to you. I can't tell you what to do. It's your life. Do not go to those parties alone. And just read the room. Like look at the environment. If it don't look cool, if it looks sketchy, it's probably a sign to not even go and just leave. Plus, like let's be real, like in college, a lot of the parties are just, you know, you know, just you, you know what comes with a college party. I'm not even gonna go into detail. You just gotta, you know, use that discernment and just be careful of where you are surrounding yourself. As a believer, I can definitely say that there's a lot of believers who feel that way too. Like they feel like they can't go to any of the events or can't be active on campus. And as a Christian, I can definitely say that, yes, you can have fun, you know, go to that gym jam, go to the homecoming events, whatever. However, it's very important that you are careful about where you are surrounding yourself with and the environments that you are in because some environments can tempt you in ways that you don't want to be tempted get out of your character and let's be real smoking and drinking is a common thing that people do in college I'm not even talking about HBCUs anymore I'm talking about just in general the college atmosphere so it's very important that you know you be smart and just pray about the decisions that you make before you go ahead and do them and as far as the atmosphere of the campus like I said it's a very familial atmosphere one thing I will say though is like I know a lot of people especially depending on how far you live away from campus when they come you know they're a little scared, they're a little nervous, and they feel kind of homesick, but I'm telling y'all, that first week you come to campus, you're not gonna wanna come back home. <laughs> I don't even live super, super, super far away, and I was not coming home super frequently. That's how much I loved my campus. Now, I will say, you know, there's times where you wanna disconnect and be like, all right, it's time to come home. But literally, like, there were times where I would be in winter break or spring break, and I'm like, okay, time to come back to school now. It is very impossible to not find a friend or to meet somebody at college, because I feel like if you put yourself out there, and if you are willing to get out your your shell and make new friends and find people to talk to you're gonna meet somebody now if you're a dorm body and you just want to be cooped up in your room all day that's your choice but it's like you can't be crying talking about I don't have any friends if you don't put yourself out there Some people deal with social anxiety and that is totally understandable but at the same time it's about you know easing your way in taking those baby steps I have a little you know a little friend group that I consider you know my girls they know who they are For, yes I love those girls so much I feel like another way to get involved as well kind of backtrack into that last question making friends with the people in your classes in your organizations like some of my GC sisters we have gotten a little closer over time by being in the choir and not only that but even in concert choir too and in some of my other classes I have developed great friendships and have become acquaintances with some people in my classes too so it's really about just you know reaching for it and going for making those connections because in college you will not survive without community so it's very important that you know network surround yourself with great people and just be mindful of the company you keep things to know about the choir Quad one dorms. This is a common question that a lot of VSU students get because let's be real, quad one is one of the best dorms on VSU's campus. So some things to know about quad one specifically. I stayed in quad one my freshman year. To God be all the glory. If you are a honors college student, nine times out of ten you will live in quad one. However, comma, I heard that the freshman class is supposed to be even bigger than we were. So I heard that they're moving all of the freshmen into quads one and two. I could be wrong. Quad one is a really really 
nice dorm. I actually had a corner room, so my room was a bit bigger than the others. You have two beds on each side. You don't have your sink inside of the bathroom. So inside of the bathrooms in quad one, you have your toilet, of course, in the shower, and then you have your sink on the outside. Quad one is suite style, so that means you have a bathroom inside of your room, which is why most people want to live there because the rest of our dorm, the more of our older dorms are communal style bathrooms, traditional style. So I understand that most people want to stay in quads during their first year. Only downside about quad one is the fire alarms. The fire alarms are literally so sensitive in that building. I remember it went off for the first time during welcome week. I was decorating my room and my roommate and I were just chatting and then we hear the fire alarm go off and we're like, what is that? Like we literally stopped and just looked at each other. So when the fire alarm goes off, everybody has to evacuate the building and go outside of the building. Usually I would just, you know, take a walk, get some food until he got the okay to go back inside. Y'all, half the time it just be going off to go off. One time somebody burned popcorn. Some people be doing stuff they have no business doing let's just put it that way one time somebody burned pizza rolls like that's the one thing that i did not like about quads but other than that quads was great oh another thing about quad one too is on each floor there is a lounge so if you want to you know spend some time with your friends get out your room a little bit you can do that you can go in there too some chairs tables as well as a microwave and tv inside of the lounges too there's also the laundry room is on the first floor of quad there's also a vending machine in the front lobby so you can get some some snacks if you want to as well and yeah that's pretty much some info about quad one how are the professors teaching style answering emails etc that's a great question for my personal experience i had mostly great professors except for two but yeah other than those two i had pretty great professors a lot of them you know really advocated for us to do our very best as far as answering emails most of my professors were pretty quick with responding to emails except for one of my professors he was a really great professor however he gave a lot of work and not only that that, but he barely replied to emails so I pretty much had to talk to him mostly in person which to me personally is a problem because I feel like you should respond to your email at a pretty good speed you know what I mean every college you're gonna have some great professors and not so great professors I highly suggest using the app rate my professor because it lets you know you know the quality of their teaching if they're a good teacher if they're a bad teacher and I definitely use that coming in and it kind of gives you a glimpse of what you're about to get yourself into and it's very important that you establish a connection with them make sure that they know your name and make sure you talk to them because listen you're gonna need a professor to write your letter of recommendation you can go to them so it's very important that you know y'all get acclimated with each other and have you know at least one conversation during the semester are the dorms clean for the most part yes of course you know you're gonna have people who just don't have home training and leave trash in the elevator they leave trash on the halls and you know when it comes to leaving trash on your hall your RA can find the whole floor if they see a lot of trash on the hall on a consistent basis which to me is a problem because who's getting fined and not me babes <laughs> yeah like that's just something that you also got to keep in mind too is just being clean and keeping your space clean as far as the communal bathrooms you know in most communal bathrooms sometimes they be you know they be a little dirty however we do have people who come in and clean them every single day um i be seeing people come in and cleaning the floors every weekend quads they usually clean the elevator and the floors of each floor every weekend like i think on sunday or Monday like super early in the morning I remember like I would come back to my room and there would be like a party that night or just something going on and the floors would be so dirty you could see like the shoe scuffs on the floor some people would leave trash on the elevator like I'm just like home training where is it at and why don't you have any but yeah like other than that it's pretty clean it sucks that you know some people don't want to keep a good space clean do a really good job with maintaining a good clean space for the student students to live in. The last question that is actually pretty funny is, is the food good? <laughs> so in my personal opinion, the food ain't even all that bad for real. Okay, I would say don't come to VSU thinking you're gonna get some gourmet Chef Boyardee, Gordon Ramsay type beet food because you're not. You're not gonna get your mama's cooking, your daddy's cooking, your grandmama, grandpappy, grandson, cook, auntie, uncle, goldfish, 
cooking. But the food is pretty decent. Like, they be having some good days. So, I'm gonna give y'all a bit of synopsis on that. So, we have two main dining halls on campus. You have Jones and then you have Gateway. Jones is more closer to everybody's residence hall on campus. So, a lot of people tend to go to Jones more than Gateway. Gateway is its own little thing, baby. Oh, it's in its own little corner. People usually say that Gateway's food is better, but sometimes they be slacking a little bit too. And that's just my personal opinion. I remember on Twitter, I had seen a tweet saying that Gateway is actually not as good as Jones and that Jones was better. And that low key shook the water because I'm like, oh, I've never heard that opinion before. I tend to go to Jones more because it's closer to where I was staying. I usually went to Gateway when I was around and when I was willing to take the hike to get there. I feel like the reason why people say Jones is better is just because of the overall atmosphere of Jones. Jones kind of has that family reunion cookout type of vibe. It's really homey. Jones is basically like that kicking spot where you could just go to hang out with your friends and to just chill. Gateway, I feel like sometimes can be a bit bougie. Like, nobody is hardly a gateway. Gateway be dry half the time. Was it during Spring Fling? No, it was during SGA week. They had a midnight breakfast at Gateway. I went and it was pretty cool. It was okay. In Jones and Gateway, we have a salad bar. We have pizza every single day. We also have burgers and fries. We have a waffle maker, ice cream machine. We also have vegetarian and vegan options. I think one time we had a stir fry in Jones too. Gateway sometimes has all day breakfast, which I wish Jones would do. And then in Foster Hall, which is our student center, on the inside we have Chick-fil-A and Subway. Those you do have to use your flex dollars for. So what your flex dollars is, so depending on the meal plan you choose, you have um, a certain amount of flex dollars and a certain amount of meal swipes. Say you have, I'm gonna just use an example. Say you have $55 in flex, but you only get five meal swipes. So that means you could go to Jones or Gateway five times out of the day. And then once your meal swipes are up, you can't go there anymore until the next day. And then your meal swipes refresh every week. With your flex dollars, you can you know, keep using them, but when you run out, you can't refresh them until the end of the semester. So I highly suggest saving your flex because I remember like literally in the middle of spring semester, I ran out of flex dollars. And another thing, we also have a campus Starbucks on campus. It's not a real Starbucks, that's why I said Starbucks because they sell drinks, you know, that are similar to the real thing. However, they're actually really good. Like their caramel frappuccinos, they are the bomb, okay? But yeah, those you also gotta use your flex for. And Chick-fil-A, we now have Apple Pay options. You don't have to use your flex for that. So I was still getting Chick-fil-A because I was like, oh, we paying out of pocket now. But yeah, that's a bit of the synopsis about the food options that we have. We also have a corner store that a lot of people go to. It's literally right around the corner from campus. I have not been there yet. I'm gonna get there soon. I'm gonna go there one of these days. Before I end the video, I guess I'll just leave y'all with a few more pieces of advice. Do not let the HBCU culture or VSU culture try to change you. I will say that when you come to college, you can definitely see, you know, who the popular kids are, who the most well-known people are, people, you know, trying to do this for clout and trying to do this for attention. Really just continue to be yourself. Don't let all the excitement change who you are. In college, it's very easy to lose yourself. And that's one of the main prayers that I had to pray when I came to VSU. I was like, Lord, please do not allow me to lose myself while I'm here. Losing your identity and other people, like I don't have time for it because I know that my purpose here at VSU is so much greater than me. Once you know what your purpose is, you'll know not to dibble and dabble in certain things because it'll throw you off. And if even if you don't know your purpose just yet, continue praying about it to Christ, continue to walk with him and he will definitely show you. Another piece of advice that I will say is, again, don't be a dorm body. Get out your room, go to an event, make sure that you are paying attention in class. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Make sure during spring fling and homecoming, you're getting your work done and making sure you're staying on top of your assignments because during those times, that is when people's grades slip the most. Spring fling, I was almost getting into that state of I was slacking a little bit in my work because I was, you know, trying to be outside and I was outside. I was outside, but not outside, outside, but I was outside, but not to the point where I was, you know, being, you know, eh, outside. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Homecoming, a lot of people's grades were slipping. Oh, and if y'all don't know what Spring Fling is, it's basically homecoming, but less alumni. Homecoming is when all of the alum come back and, you know, spend time with the current students. They have alumni events. Homecoming, we had the gospel concert, organization bazaar, rap concert. Spring Fling is basically
basically just like a mini version of homecoming it was really fun i just remember it being so hot oh my gosh oh that whole week i was fighting for my life with that weather please make sure that during spring fling and homecoming you are being smart about your academics if you got to skip that party get that essay done you might have to make some sacrifices your gpa will thank you at the very end oh and that's another thing i want to touch on too your gpa and your grades do not define you as a person i want to strongly emphasize this because not even just at virginia state but just as hbcus period we have a tendency of you know pushing the 4.0 narrative which is great i'm not knocking that at all however i feel like it can be easy to get sucked into feeling you gotta be perfect and if you don't get a 4.0 then you didn't do enough or that your grades don't matter and that is a lie i can say for myself that i remember after fall semester people were posting their grades and their gpas and i was low-key afraid of posting mine because everybody was getting 4.0s and all a's and i ended the fall semester with a 3.6 and you know compared to high school i finished with a 4.3 so i was you know trying not to beat myself up because i was like dang you know how did i get here but at the same time i had to remind myself that one i did a really good job for somebody who was involved in two choirs and those two choirs were a commitment alone and on top of that i had to juggle school and i will say even youtube too which at the time was somewhat of a priority but it wasn't the main priority because you know school comes first i had to take a minute and be proud of the fact that i persevered through my first semester with all that i had going on and secondly college is such a different ball game than high school getting a 3.6 in college like some people would kill to have that gpa you really have to take the time to celebrate the small wins and the small victory just make sure you stay in your own lane don't try to look at what everybody else is doing stay on the course that god gave you so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video like i said do not forget to hit that subscribe button make sure you guys check out some more of my college related content because you know i work really hard on these and i really pray that this video encouraged you guys and informed y'all in some way to my baby trojans coming in class of 27 i am so proud of you and just know that if you happen to see me on campus please do not hesitate to say hi you no know, talk to me i'll talk back i won't bite or nothing you know what i mean <laughs> talk to me we can definitely chat it up and i can give you some more advice if you need some and if there are any current vsu students or even some alum that come across this video that wants to give some advice or just give some encouragement don't be afraid to put some in the comments make sure you guys check out some more of my socials which are up here and down below as usual and if you don't want to ask any questions on here you can definitely dm me on instagram snap twitter where have you god bless you guys i love y'all so much hail state and i'll see you next time Mwah, bye <laughs>